To understand how the multi-level page table saves space, let's look at an example of a simple and small two-level page table. In this example, we will use a very small virtual address where we have an offset and the page number, and each of these is four bits. So using a flat page table, we would need two to the fourth entries in it, one for each possible page number. So the entries would be numbered 0 through 15. And we would index with our page number here and get our frame number. With a two-level page table, let's say we split this four-bit page number into two two-bit pieces. So the same virtual address still has a four-bit page number that we split into two two-bit pieces. The outer part of the page number is used to index into a four-entry outer page table. And each entry in this outer page table can point to a four-entry inner page table. So in total, we have four inner page tables. Once we find the pointer to the correct one, we can use the inner part of the page number to tell us which entry to use. And that gives us our frame number. So as indicated previously, the total size of all the inner page tables here is the same as the original size of the flat page table here. We had 16 entries here. We have 4 times 4 entries here. Plus, we added the space for the outer page table. So where are the savings? The savings are in that if there is an unused large part of the address space such that all of these entries do not correspond to physical memory, then we don't need this. And we can mark here in the outer page table that the entry is not necessary. And then we can eliminate this inner page table. In a large address space, the outer page table will have many pointers, most of which will point to inner page tables like this. So we eliminate them. So we end up having one reasonably large outer page table, but one that we can fit in memory, and a small number of inner page tables, each of which is reasonably sized and fits in memory. But we don't have most of the inner page tables, so we save a lot of space.